thank you so uh, kind introduction. And the, so I'm Shoji, and I'm in charge of the operation of the K-computer. And so I, uh, today I talk about the operation of the K-computer and the facility. So, so uh, as a previous talk has announced the, uh, so here is the announcement of the, the shutdown of the K-computer. And the, so yeah, this is the brief and time chart of the uh, K-Computer project. So I, I want to say the, so if we include the early access of the K-Computer, so uh, K-Computer will operate for the uh, over eight years, okay? So <clears throat> yeah, so uh, this is the um, incredibly long term at the, uh, uh, the scale of the supercomputer. So, Okay, so uh, this is the introduction of the K computer, and the, I skip these slides. And then, uh, yeah, this is the uh, block diagram of the K computer. And the, so I uh, pointed one point one, and the K computer has the two types of storages. So one is called the uh, local file system, so LFS, and which has the uh, broader IO bandwidth, and the so relatively small uh, capacity. And on the other hand, we also have the global file system, uh, which has the uh, bigger capacity and the uh, not so broad bandwidth. So yeah, user and um, permanent files are located in the GFS, and the so LFS are uh, used as the uh, staging buffers. So uh, so I will show you about the facility of this site. So we have two, two passes uh, for the electricity. One is the uh, pass to the uh, power supply company. So yeah, um, about the uh, two thirds of the total power consumption comes from the power supplier. And the, <coughs> uh, the one third of the power consumption are generated by our own power generator, uh, which is the uh, gas power generators. And the, uh, these power generators can generate uh, electricity up to five megawatts. And the, yeah. And so, yeah, these generators uh, also work as the uh, backup power source for the uh, storages, not, not for K-computer. Okay, so and the this is the this I show the uh, key function of the, our facilities. So, as I said, we have the uh, gas turbine power generators. So, yeah, um, potential energy of gas uh, can be converted to the electricity up to thirty percent. So, but our system uh, can use uh, this uh, weight heat. A part of weight heat uh, can be used. Uh, for the heat and the uh, to generate uh, chilled water, so yeah, so this is this kind of system called the cogeneration system or three generation system. So <clears throat> and the, so this kind of system is able to achieve higher uh, energy efficiency. But so uh, power generation and the uh, chiller system are tightly connected. So, so operation is not so uh, easy. Okay, so let me show you the um, operation statistics uh, of the K-computer. So, yeah, currently we operate, uh, for, for, uh, this is the, uh, the day of the operation, official operation start, okay? So now it's uh, past uh, six years and four months. So, so we have the uh, number of projects and the real user. So real means the, uh, they, they submit the job to the key computer. So, and the, so here is the uh, number of jobs and the, we delivered uh, this uh, node hours. So it corresponds to the, uh, about the 73.5% for the uh, so six years and four months. Yes. So yeah, this slide shows the uh, yearly system availability and the job filling rates. So green bars show the system availability. 
Okay, so yeah, and these indicators are defined in this way. So you see, um, and availability rate uh, is higher. So, but the uh, ninety-five percent, yes, and the <coughs> so yeah, so orange bar shows the so irregular system down. So this is uh, very very small. So especially so for last three years, uh, we can uh, we can keep the uh, uh, so system downtime is suppressed to less than two percent. Okay, and the so here is the so red line shows the uh, job filling rates. So you see uh, it's uh, between the uh, seventy-five to the eighty percent. So yeah, somebody may think this is not so high, but um, so uh, interconnection of the K computer is direct connection type, and the, we adopted the uh, blockwise job allocation uh, rule. So <coughs> if we consider that the situation, so this score uh, is not so bad, I think. Yes, so as I said, so uh, yellow bar shows the uh, irregular system down. And so this slide shows the breakdown of the irregular system down. So this is the uh, time, uh, time hours. So you see, uh, so blue and red bar shows the uh, failure from the file system. So blue is uh, LFS and the red from the uh, GFS. So uh, file system failures are dominant, so or irregular system down. And the, so you see uh, in the uh, 2014, uh, irregular system downtime increased uh, drastically. So, so here we, uh, we, we, changed, we changed our mind to, yeah, to give priority to resuming service earlier than uh, investigating the cause of the failures. Okay, so we have developed uh, many, many uh, workarounds, uh, operational workarounds uh, with Fujitsu engineers. So, yeah, so last, uh, this year, so I have uh, an excuse uh, because the, so, so this uh, blue bar shows the uh, uh, misc of the downtime. And so, yeah, MISC in this year includes the uh, so failure from the national disaster. So one is the uh, thunder, and the, the other one is the typhoon. So, <clears throat> okay, so let me show about the uh, PUE. So PUE is the uh, major indicator uh, to evaluate the um, energy efficiency of the data center. So, so in uh, ideal case, um, PUE should be one, and the um, and the smaller PUE is better. Okay. So <clears throat> you see, so so area phase of the operation. So we uh, our PUE is so high, but uh, we uh, improve the uh, PUE by uh, optimizing the air condition uh, operation. So I, I'm sorry. Uh, so, so green bar shows the uh, ratio of the uh, power consumption uh, for the um, uh, yeah uh, power consumption of the K computer. And the so purple shows the uh, cooling for the chillers, and the blue is the cooling for the air handlers. So you see, we uh, reduce the power consumption of the uh, air cooling, and we can improve the uh, PUE. So recently, uh, we uh, tried to the, uh, improve the um, operation of the power generation and the uh, chillers. So, so we, we, we could uh, improve the PUE. Okay, so, <clears throat> Uh, let me introduce uh, some topic about the 
operational improvements. So why the power capping? So, <coughs> so as I said, uh, uh, so power supply deliver. Uh, so we, we receive the electricity from the supplier, and so there is a contact, uh, contract. Uh, and the <coughs> there is the uh, um, constraints uh, for the upper bound. So, so when uh, we uh, power consumption exceed the upper bound, so we have to pay some penal penalty fees. So we we have to avoid such a situation. So, <coughs> and the so this is a typical power consumption profile. In the uh, so full time uh, so sorry full node uh, running, so you see so when full node job uh, start so per consumption increased uh, four megawatts uh, maybe uh, in, in microsec or that and then the when job uh, finished. Uh, same amount electricity uh, degrees. So, uh, we introduced the uh, preview process for the large scale job. Uh, so, user wants, uh, who wants to execute a large scale job, so uh, before job running, uh, they, have to, um, they have to report the smaller version of the job. And so, we evaluate the power consumption of the job and they decide uh, acceptable reject. So <clears throat> the second way is the uh, prepare uh, large power consumption. So as I said, so we have two uh, power, uh, gas power generators. So in ordinary case, in ordinary case, uh, so one is active, the other one is standby. So, so when and the estimated power consumption uh, will be exceed the limit. So we, we can prepare uh, the uh, uh, we can pre prepare to provide the uh, larger power consumption uh, by uh, activating second power generator. Okay, so final uh, safety bulb. Uh, so we also have the a monitoring system. So, uh, if support power consumption exceeds occurs, unfortunately, so we can uh, terminate the job. Uh, so we can identify the job and the, we can terminate it. Okay. So we have many uh, improvements for the operation. So, but I don't. I don't have time to talk in detail. So let me discuss later. Okay, so this is the last slide of my presentation. Uh, so towards to uh, operation and service to post case system. So <clears throat> and yeah, this is the just the keyword and the uh, idea in my head. And so we we are now discussing uh, about the detail of the operation. So a point is the, so we have to increase uh, on uh, effective usage rate. Uh, usage rate means um, um, availability and job filling rates. And especially uh, if we want to increase the job filling rates 10% uh, more, so we should uh, consider so rational node allocation rule and the uh, charging. I think, and uh, we also want to increase uh, availability uh, and the degrees PUE. So, as Matsuoka san said, so our target PUE will be 1.1, but currently uh, our score is 1.3. So we we need more effort. So, yeah, the, I think this is. Uh, Key to uh, realize this target, uh, we have to improve the efficiency and quality uh, of the operation by including the automations uh, based on the data analysis and AI. 
And second one is the uh, improved uh, service quality. So uh, there are so, um, several ways to approach. Uh, so I think it, the, this is important to, um, yeah, so as Matsuko has said, so uh, post K, uh, CPU of the post K is based on the ARM. So it will be easier to um, construct the software ecosystem uh, than uh, the case of the K computer. So we have to commit, strong, uh, aggressively commit uh, to construct uh, this kind of software uh, ecosystem activity. And the, so I also think uh, an important point that to collaborate with the service providers, uh, like and the, uh, SARS or IAS or PaaS providers. Uh, yes. <laughs> so uh, we are now discussing about this, this point. So, so I really expect to uh, numerous users and projects from various uh, fields of science and engineering come to uh, post case system. Okay, thank you very much.